Welcome to the College of Science and Engineering's Career Fair Prep Presentation. In this presentation, we'll cover what to expect from the Career Fair and how to navigate the event, including researching employers and creating your introduction. You'll also learn how to use Handshake, the University of Minnesota's job and internship platform, and how to follow up with employers after the fair. The College of Science and Engineering holds two career fairs each year, one in the fall and one in the spring. This fall, the fair is at 3M Arena at Mariucci on September 17th and 18th from 12 to 5 p.m. both days. More than 225 employers will be in attendance to talk with students and recent alumni about their company, as well as available jobs, internships, and co-ops. Before the fair, spend some time looking over the CSE Career Services website, specifically the career fair pages. Here you'll find a list of our drop-in hours the week before the career fair, as well as descriptions of the career fair prep events being held the week before the fair. The Career Services website also includes tips to help you prepare, such as links to both the Graduate Resume Guide and the Undergraduate Resume Guide, resume templates, and a career fair prep guide. You can also view the Researching Employers and Industries Guide and a section about frequently asked questions related to the fair. Before getting into the specifics of the fair, let's talk about some myths versus facts about attending a career fair. One common myth is, all I need to do is show up. While you are still able to attend without preparing, it's recommended that you spend time creating a strategy for how you want to spend your time at the fair. With more than 225 employers, you'll want to know your companies of interest and know if they currently have open positions. It's also smart to do your research on some companies ahead of time, so you're able to articulate your knowledge of that company when you're speaking with employers at the fair. At minimum, you'll want to look through the list of companies attending the fair, note the day or days they are attending, and read about them on their websites, LinkedIn, and on Handshake. Another common myth is that you'll get an offer at the fair. It's important to know that there are no formal interviews at the fair, but instead you're creating an impression and a relationship with an employer, which could lead to an interview. Getting an offer for an internship, job, or co-op is typically a process which can take from several weeks to a couple of months, depending on the position. One last myth is that you should only go to the career fair if you're actively looking for a job. Whether you are actively searching for a position or not, the Career Fair is a great place to explore industries and discover positions, companies, and alternative career paths you may not have considered. The reality is that many employers will not have current openings, but they attend the fair to meet with students who they may follow up with later. Another reality is that employers at the fair are not just looking for seniors who are job seeking. This fall, there are nearly 70 employers who have co-ops available to sophomores and juniors and seniors, and many more employers have internships open to students at all class levels. If you're searching for an open position, you can learn what skills employers are seeking and potentially be identified by an employer to move on to next steps. Most employers at previous career fairs have reported that they plan to follow up with at least one student, and the majority plan to follow up with between five to 10 students. Finally, the career fair is an ideal setting to practice introducing yourself to professionals by building your network. Most of us are familiar with the term networking, which simply means getting to know people in order to learn more about an opportunity. It's estimated that in the United States, about 80% of open positions are filled by way of networking. Whether you're enthusiastic about networking or not, it is a primary way candidates find open positions. Using job boards such as Handshake, Indeed, or Google is essential in order to learn more about specific positions and to apply for jobs, but as you advance in your career, the majority of positions you find will likely involve a personal connection through a professional association, a coworker, a friend or family member. Connecting with employers at the career fair is a great way to build your network. You can learn more about the position and company to stand out as a candidate, 
learn about the hiring process, show your professionalism through communication skills, and follow up with employers for later conversations. Now let's transition into the logistics of how to prepare for the fair and how to use Handshake to make your career fair strategy easier. There are three major steps to take before the fair in order to prepare. First, complete your Handshake profile and then research companies that will be attending. Second, update your resume. And third, create and practice what you'll say when introducing yourself to employers. Let's go through each of these steps. Handshake is the university's job, co-op, and internship platform. Students can use Handshake to apply for jobs, internships, and co-ops, to connect with recruiters at companies and also peers who have interned or worked for companies. You can find and register for career events such as the career fair and employer information sessions and to research companies. As a student at the University of Minnesota, log into Handshake and go to your profile section. Complete as much of your profile as possible. In this example, the student has completed the optional about section, which is a summary of key experiences, experiences and skills. They've also included all of their work experiences, including an internship and a co-op. Be sure to complete your education section, including filling in your graduation month and year, as well as your major. You can also include any courses you've taken, student organizations you've been involved with, and you also have the option to include projects that are either from classes or personal projects. Finally, you can go to the My Documents section and upload a resume for review. It's a good idea to update your profile and upload your resume as soon as possible before the career fair. Once you upload your resume for the first time, CSC Career Services will automatically review it, give basic feedback, and approve it for applying to positions. CUC Career Services receives many resumes just before the fair, and staff members need time to look them over for approval. Employers typically have interviews shortly after the fair, and you'll need an approved resume in Handshake in order to apply for those positions, so don't wait on this step. Your next step in preparing for the career fair is to research employers. A few ways of doing this are to search on company websites, look at company profile pages on LinkedIn, and also on Handshake. If you know someone who works for a company, you could also reach out to that person to ask about the hiring process, the company culture, or other information you're curious about. When researching companies, consider asking questions such as the following. What does the company make or do? Where are they located or headquartered? Why might you be interested in this company? And are there currently open positions? In order to research employers, you will first want to find the event in Handshake by searching for the College of Science and Engineering Career Fair. Registration for the Career Fair isn't required, but it's recommended in order to receive emails with important announcements. On the main page, you'll see options to view all employers in attendance, or you may wish to use filters to view specific employers that offer positions you're seeking. You can look at a job type such as an internship or co-op. You can choose specific school years such as your junior, senior, sophomore, first year or master student, a major or an industry. Once you've filtered your results, you can click on any employer title and you'll be directed to the company's profile page in Handshake where you can view a little bit more about them. You'll see an overview of the employer here and you can also see any jobs that they are currently hiring for. Click on the jobs available, read the job description, and consider pressing the apply button. When researching employers and positions, challenge yourself to research companies that you've never heard of before. They may end up being a great fit for what you're looking for. The next step in preparing for the fair is to update your resume and possibly have it reviewed by a career counselor. CSC Career Services has resources on the main page of our website, including templates you can use to create your resume. These templates are the type that should work well for employers who use applicant tracking system software to screen resumes. You can also view resume guides and samples for both undergraduate students and graduate students. 
Career counselors and student career engagement ambassadors are hosting career fair drop-in sessions of 10 minutes from 2 to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday and from 9 a.m. to 12 noon on Monday, September 16th, the day before the fair. The last step in preparing for the fair is to create and practice your introduction or what you plan on saying when you meet employers at the fair. Your introduction is your chance to talk about your interests and experiences related to the type of positions you're thinking about. Even if you are not currently looking for a job or internship, but are attending the fair to learn more about future opportunities, it's smart to have a general idea of what you'll say when you meet with employers. When planning what you want to say, one helpful strategy is to consider using the present past future question model. You can speak about your present involvement, including your major, work, or student group experience, your past experience, including the skills you've gained from classwork, projects, previous internships or research experiences, and your future goals. After you briefly introduce yourself using the present past future model, it's helpful to ask a question to the employer based on your knowledge of the company. An example could sound like this. I'm currently in my junior year at the University of Minnesota where I'm studying mechanical engineering. I'm also involved in the Society of Women Engineers as the group treasurer. Last semester, I worked part-time in a research lab within the mechanical engineering department while also working on the solar car project. My research experience taught me how to manage data collection related to hybrid vehicle use, while the solar car experience has improved my problem solving and teamwork skills due to the collaborative nature of the project. I'm interested in the internship with your company because I'd like to apply my technical design knowledge to the products your company manufactures. I'm very interested in the insert position you posted on Handshake and I applied for the position last week. Are you able to tell me more about that position and when you hope to interview? Asking questions is important because it shows your curiosity and allows you to demonstrate that you know something about the company and what they're involved in. Other examples of questions to ask include, what are typical entry-level positions for my major at your company? Are there opportunities for mentorship and professional development? If so, what do those look like? What strategies and plans does your company have to increase diversity in your workplace? And what are the next steps in the hiring process? During your conversation, an employer may direct you to apply online. Don't be discouraged as this is a normal part of the process. Employers often take notes on their conversations with students and use those notes to decide which candidates they want to invite to a formal interview. Before you leave the conversation, ask for their contact information and their preferred method of follow-up and thank them for their time. After the career fair, reflect on the employers you met and the opportunities you learned about. If you're interested in keeping in touch with an employer or in applying for an open position, send a thank you email within a few days of the fair. Remind the person of where you met and mention something unique about your conversation. Express appreciation for their time and the information they shared with you. If you're wondering what to wear to the fair, the best advice is to wear something that reflects how you want to be viewed as a professional. Students wear a range of clothing, from business casual to business professional. All the images reflected in this slide reflect a range of what you might see students wear at the career fair. If you're looking for financial assistance for professional attire, please fill out an application on our website at cse.umn.edu slash career fair. Other tips for a successful career fair experience include arriving early if possible. The career fair will have a bag check that opens at noon each day, and you're welcome to drop off your backpack so you won't need to carry it with you in the arena. Bring a folder or pad folio to hold your resumes and to take notes on, and collect business cards and bring something to write with. Prioritize companies by meeting with your top choices early in the day. Since attending the fair is a new experience for many, former CSE students have advice to share about how to make the most of the event and how to best prepare.
I think students should go to a career fair because it gives you a lot of exposure to what sorts of companies are hiring for CSE majors. I know personally, I didn't know that a lot of companies were looking for chemistry majors or that there were chemist roles in a lot of companies and that was something that I found really helpful about the fair. I think career fairs are great. I've been to, I think, five uh, in my collegiate career and it's a really, really unique opportunity, not only because there's so many companies there specifically looking for undergraduate students, which is, which is very unique. My sophomore year, I was able to actually gain an internship from the career fair, and I was also able to gain an internship from the career fair my junior year. It's also a great way to just get contacts within your field of study. I know a lot of people that I've met in the career fair that I have used for future contacts for internships, full-time jobs, and even co-op placements. I prepared for the career fair by having my resume reviewed by the Career Center. That was really helpful because an expert looked over my, review, my resume and gave me tips on how to improve it. I would say the number one way to handle nervousness or anxiety before the career fair is to practice. If you go into the career fair and it's your first time ever saying your elevator pitch, your introduction to the employers, you might be a little nervous and not be sure about what to say. However, you can practice with friends, family, or whoever else might be supportive and that will really help your confidence going into the fair. Yeah, it's, it's a little intimidating at first, uh, the first couple times, and that's why I'm grateful that I went as a freshman just to kind of get my feet wet and get used to it, but it, it was very good and they're all very, very kind and, and again, looking for undergraduate students. And so it, it's a very easy conversation and uh, they're very open to, to connecting with you if, if you're interested in their company. Just go to the career fair. I can't tell you how much value you can get out of it, even just going for 30 minutes to one hour, even just to see what companies are there, and then maybe going back the second day with your resume printed out, with a game plan. Uh, you never really know what could come of it. If you're interested in additional prep assistance, CSC Career Services is offering workshops and events the week before the career fair, including resume writing, a career fair insider's tips employer panel, a special career fair kickoff event in the Lind Hall Courtyard, a CSC co-op program information session, an interactive interviewing session with employers, a job offer and negotiation session, and an international student career fair prep session. CSE will be partnering with employers for CSE Virtual Practice Interview Day on Thursday, September 12th. To sign up, search for Practice Interview Day under the Jobs tab in Handshake and then sign up to have an interview with an employer and receive some feedback. We'll also be partnering with employers for CSE Virtual Resume Marathon on Monday, September 16th. To sign up, search for Resume Marathon in the Jobs tab on Handshake. CSE students and alumni who've graduated within the past year are welcome to make a 30-minute appointment with a career counselor or attend career fair drop-ins for quick questions and resume reviews. The Career Services website is available at all times and contains information including resume samples and templates, alumni career outcomes information, sample interview questions, job and internship search help, and many other pieces of information. We hope you learned some helpful tips from this presentation and wish you the best at the career fair.